So where do you find the stage three information? Obviously from the provings. These remedies, some of them are well proved. Um, so we have enough material here to be able to create a stage three understanding. Plus, you have to look at also the kingdoms, but not the kingdom, because that came in stage two. You're looking more at the sub-sub-kingdom and deeper uh, division to find more specific, holistic, unique themes of these remedies. All right. So let's first find out how we can source information from the proofs. So I've opened up my remedy analysis in HomeQuest here again. Now, to get stage 3 information, we are going to use the advanced option, but we are going to go one step further. So, we are using all rubrics which have at least three remedies, metrodonal remedies from this group. Plus, we now want to limit the rubric size because we want peculiar, you know, stage 3 rubrics. So, we are, we are restricting the rubric size to at most 100, which means we want medium sized rubrics with only 100 remedies. This will give us not all those broad spectrum remedy, uh, rubrics, which have thousands and thousands of remedies, you know, which we wanted for stage one and two. But for stage three, we want discrete, smaller size rubrics, uh, which are important. Yeah. And now I'm going to analyze it and we find out what are the key aspects coming up here. So look at that. Um, attached very mother to. No surprise here. All right. And then we have some very interesting delusions. We have alone and being ugly. That's the key aspect of the matridonals at stage three. And then there is this aspect about being detached from their ego. And then look at that, being dominated by others. And this is about the group and about being dominated and that hierarchy within the group. Then down below we see, you know, positiveness. So this is the opposite of being extremely weak-willed, right? And that is, you see both sides of the same coin here. And then, and issues around menses, around mame, children and babies, and driving a car. This is interesting, right? Driving a car is when you are a, a teenager who is learning uh, a new skill. And then you have dreams of being forsaken, um, women, childishness, claustrophobia. And then as you go down, uh, you can see on one hand, they're very clingy, very dependent, need the constant desire of mom, have no confidence in themselves, confused and doubtful. And on the other side, you have this very strong aspect about being positive and um, strong-willed in that aspect. And then defiant and rebellious and oppositional. So. When you're studying remedies at that constitutional holistic level, remember, you have access. You will get expressions on both sides, which seem to be opposite. You want to find these opposites, but you also want to find the common connection. So you will have rubrics which have show lack of confidence, lack of self-assurance, confusion, doubtful childishness. And at the same time, and then, you know, developmental delay and docility and on the other side you will find a lot of defiance and oppositional and rebellious behavior and um, positiveness. Can you see? So that is ego is a very strong axis here and both sides of the same ego about feeling your confidence level, feeling your self-esteem, feeling your value, your worth and your ego. Can you see how these two aspects come up in the matrimonials very interestingly? And then further down as well, you can see those um, opposites coming up, like some, you know, irritation, annoyance and angry, at the same time, very innocent and naive, meek and unable to say no. And then at the same time, you find that they're very argumentative, stubborn and obstinate. Yeah, they're very, very sensitive to noise, to smell, to touch, to light, hypersensitivity coming up as a strong aspect and they have this theme of soft fluffy and velvety so very weak very fragile like a baby very sensitive to aspects around them but at the same time they feel rejected and neglected and alone and ugly and at the same time they feel very weak they feel there is danger all around and they can withdraw so all these aspects coming up strongly um, in the matrimonial theory so if i want to find the, the thematic picture of matridonals at stage three. 
This is what I will put it down to. It's about the axis around ego, value, worth, and self-esteem. And there is generally a very low, fragile state of self-esteem, right? And so they can, that's because it's about this aspect and feeling like a baby in the womb. They're alone, they're ugly, they feel ugly, they feel alone, they feel, you know, very sensitive to things around them, that there is danger, there is vulnerability, there is claustrophobia, and, you know, on one hand, they have complete dependence on the mother, so this need to cling, this childishness, this childlike dependence, even in older people, and at the same time, they can be very defined, very argumentative, very rebellious, very quarrelsome to, you know, stand make their ground to stand to show that they are seen and their worth right and their value so that can come up as a part of you know but it's at that level about it's like the tantrum of a baby and, ta and tantrum of a toddler who is trying to assert their value so this is the zone at an emotional level this is the zone at stage three of these matrimonial remedies now, how this ego and how this expresses will be unique for each remedy. But this is where you're looking for, if you see these themes coming up in your patient, you're looking at metadonals at stage three, just based on the probing information. But you get more information if you study the, the sub-kingdom and the kingdoms. Let's look at that. So if you're looking at uh, the matronomers now and if you class look at the classification they are animals from the vertebral column mammals now we're looking at more deeper information we're looking at primates and we're looking at the hominidae family which is the great apes and what you see is the commonality based on the source information is they have eight to nine months of pregnancy single or rarely twins are born and there is this sense of helplessness in infants um, or in babies as soon as they're born. And you need to care for long periods of time. So they have a very long adolescence. They're not mature until age to 13. And so uh, birth only once every few years because the mothers are nurturing and looking after and caring for the child for a very long period. This is very, very uh, unique to the great apes which humans belong to. And hence you see such a childlike dependence and clinginess and childishness and being alone and needing the mother and constantly wanting to hold on and needing the nurturing that you see. Uh, this is the stuckness of this, age, of this group. And then if you look at more deeper, which is about being human and homo sapiens, you can see what makes humans different from apes is they have a very complex free prefrontal cortex. There is very high intelligence and episodic memory. You can remember incidences and memories of certain situations. You, your very complex facial flexible expressions, very self-aware. See a lot of matrodonors, you see a lot of aware awareness about self, you, you know about how many desire for, about empathy, about detached their ego. So they're able to look at themselves objectively, subjectively and um, empathize with others as well, which is quite unique. And then introspection, imagination, and creativity coming up. And there is also this evolved human con consciousness. You know, a lot of patients will show a lot of spiritual inclination as well. Um, and then, you know, egalitarianism, which is about equality and fairness. And there are these complex social organizations with, you know, kinship and language within the group. There's a lot of dynamics within the group, within families. And that is what really uh, issues around that. And then there is this matrilineal state, which is young mothers enjoy the support from their own mothers who live nearby in the same camp. This is seen in primitive tribes. And this is very, very unique about humans is that the mothers are getting the support from their own mothers. And so this, the mothers are, the grandmothers are playing a role as well in, in child nurturing and rearing because this is such a long period of looking after children before they are you know, mature enough to be by themselves. And hence, this forms such an important part of matridonals about mothering and being the mother and being the perfect mother, you see in lack humanum and maternum, and needing the community, uh, which is quite unique, and needing 
help from other women and you know there was a patient who said i want my child to be raised in the commune where there are other mothers and um the childbirth process they would prefer to have uh, you know sometimes they're very inclined towards delivering at home and having uh, the nurturing of um, not having doctors in there but having uh, females uh, and elders out there uh, women who can look after and go through the childbirth process so that is a very strong need with uh, with matrimonial remedies and so now let's look at matrimonials at stage four